friends welcome to my workplace for hands on feco and sics training let us observe this minimally edited non dominant hand surgery this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis this is the main incision with my non dominant left hand and this is a triplanar incision 2.8 mm at mid limbus rather on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose a side port is made on the right side of the main incision about 3 and a half clock hours away and now capsulorexis is to be done fix the glove take the utrata in my non dominant left hand and start the rexis a puncture at the center go a little towards periphery hold on side get the stag and rotate the stag clockwise i find it easier to go clockwise with my non dominant left hand and here see what happens at around 9 o'clock it tends to go to periphery the antechamber is shallow i should have come out but here I complete this in this way. Hold it, give two, three jerky pulls and it comes to the track. Adequate size trexis has been made. It's not circular, but it is continuous and fairly round. Hydrodissection is done. And now since this is a soft cataract grade to NS, in such cases, my technique is nowadays to preach off such cases. You can say this is a customized technique for grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. Visco fills up the anterior chamber, then I take the pre chopper in my left hand in this case and the nucleus sustainer in my right hand that goes to the side port. The pre chopper should go through the main port and the nuclear sustainer through the side port. And the pre chopper and the nuclear sustainer rotates the nucleus. The pre chopper is placed and see what happens. I didn't get a nice crack because the nucleus sustainer was okay, but the pre chopper was not at the proper depth. So I take the nuclear take the pre-chopper at proper depth and I got a nice crack then I inject visco again and fill up the anti chamber again I go with the pre-chopper and nuclear sustainer the pre-chopper supports the nucleus uh, uh, from the center and the sustainer from the periphery and between these two instruments the nucleus is you know, crushed, rather cut into pieces. Now, this is a 3 millimeter keratum to enlarge the main wound a little bit so that entry of the handpiece becomes easy. And now, here goes the handpiece. The exposed part of the needle is less because it is soft cataract. I need less ultrasonic energy to emulsify such soft matter. So the exposed part is also less. Take the nucleus sustainer in my right hand that goes to the side port and the hand piece is in my non-dominant left hand and I turn the hand piece so that the bevel is towards the left. Let us see how it becomes, how the followability becomes in this way. Yesterday, the followability was not good. Yesterday, I made another video on with this on my non-dominant left hand. And see what happens. As I made the side port to the left, you know, bevel to the left, the followability is much better today. I don't know why, but it is like this. Followability is much better today. The antechamber is maintained nicely. There is no surge. This is Oatly Catrix 3 FECO machine. 
The microscopy is OMS 800 from Topcon. And this is the last, uh, you know, this is of the nucleus, it is managed. And now there is a lot of cortex in this case. When I operate with my dominant hand, I try to remove some cortex by the handpiece itself, but I'm not trying that with my non-dominant left hand. So here goes a 23G Simco and it, it, you know, it is being used to remove the cortex. Most of the cortex has been cleaned almost 270 degree through the side port and now it goes through the main port and rest of the cortex is removed. Posterior capsule appears clean. I'm planning hydroimplantation of the intraocular lens. And now here goes the irrigating probe of bimanual IA to polish the posterior capsule. This is hydro polish. And after this, the lens will be implanted when the anterior chamber is maintained by the irrigating probe. And this is known as hydro implantation. Here it is. The irrigating probe goes through the side port and the lens is injected in the bag. As the lens comes out, the haptic optic junction is pressed by the irrigating probe and it goes in the bag. And this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now the uh, side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. Usually I don't hydrate the main wound. But here, because of habit, I thought the main wound is the side port and I hydrated one side of the main wound. Mm. And here it is. The dead chamber is formed nicely. And is done. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to try surgeries with your non-dominant hand. Uh, if we can do this, you know, if we train our left hand, rather non-dominant hand, nicely, we don't have to change positions. We can do temporal FECO sitting at the hand end. We just go towards the right side a little more in case of right eye and towards the left eye a little more in case of left eye, uh, left eye and you can do temporal phaco sitting at the head end. Thank you very much for your attention.